Excellence Academy. Let's do the problem on limiting reagent and excess reagent. Now we said limiting reagent is simply the reagent or the particular reactant that gets used up first in a chemical reaction while the excess reagent is the reactant that is left unreacted after the whole reaction process has um, taken place. Now let's solve this particular question on limiting an excess reagent. It says How many moles of propane will be left unreacted when 20 moles of propane are treated with 30 moles of oxygen based on the reaction? So the reaction given here is C3H8, that's propane, in a gaseous form, combining with 5 moles of oxygen, so this would be probably a combustion reaction, to give 3 moles of carbon dioxide and then 4 moles of water. So I have this as the equation of the reaction. They are asking how many moles of propane will be left unreacted. My first task is to get out the molar ratio. Let's get molar ratio. For this, I'm having one. Uh, the coefficient says one is two. For this, the coefficient says five is two. For this, question says three is two for this question here is four so if i take out the coefficient it's one five three and four now if you look at the equation there they mentioned two things there they said propane and oxygen so i'll work with just propane and oxygen of course they are my reactants and that's because of the limiting region of course my reactants um so for this so for this now, uh, what I have is this, for propane, for propane, I'm having C3H8 and then oxygen is O2 there. From the balance chemical equation, we said one mole of propane will react with five moles of oxygen. This is from the balanced chemical equation. Now, next of the said, how many moles of propane will be left unreacted? So for the mole of propane, we call this X. It will be left unreacted. We don't know how many. They said when 30 moles of oxygen is used. So oxygen, 30 moles of oxygen. Alright, so how many moles of propane will be left unreacted? When 20 moles of propane is combined with 30 moles of oxygen. So the one, the particular reagent with which um, we are looking for the amount of unreacted moles, we we'll call it X for now. So for, since, since, since they say propane, we we'll call it X for now. From here, we cross multiply. If I cross multiply, it becomes this times this. So I'm having this times this. So five times X is equal to this times this. One times. 30. So I have 5x is equal to 30 divided by 5, divided by 5, here cancel this. So x is equal to 6 moles, 6 moles of propane. So here is now the idea. That means it takes 1 mole of propane to react with 5 moles of oxygen. Also, it takes from our calculation, it takes, so let me call this propane and let me call this oxygen. 
So I said it takes one mole of propane to react with five moles of oxygen. It also takes, from my calculation, six moles of propane to react with uh, 30 moles of oxygen. If you look at the question there, the available number of moles of propane in the question there was 20 moles. 20 moles of propane. This was the available moles of propane that reacted with 30 moles of oxygen. But for my calculation, we only need 6 moles of this. So I have 20 in total. I only need 6 moles of propane to, to, work, um, to work on the reaction. So hence, if I have 20, I use up just 6. How many is left? 20 minus 6. That gives you 14 moles of propane. So this is how you get your answer. So when you see how many moles of propane is left or reacted, I only needed 6. I had 20. So out of 20, I used 6. So I'm left with just 14 moles left. So this was option C. Option C said 14 moles. So this becomes the answer to that question. 14 moles of propane.